Everyone, welcome back to How Tech. Today we have an iPhone 17 Pro, and we're going to show you how to change the language on this guy. Actually, this works for anything with iOS 26 Pro Max, Air, etc. I'll actually also show you how to change it from a language you don't understand into a language you do understand in case someone changes your phone. So anyway, let's get started. You want to look for this gear menu right here, the settings, and then go to general, which is also a gear, which is in the first section, the second section down. And now you want to go down to the language and region, which is this kind of globe atlas thing and click on that. And then here you see the languages that are available on the phone. And so you can actually add additional languages. if You want to type something in or you can click on these three lines and drag it. And so this will restart your phone in the new language. So let's actually just add another one. Um, in my case, I can speak Chinese, but let's try something I can't even speak. Uh, let's try Greek. Okay, so now it tells you, do you want to set this as the primary language? So let's just leave it here and this will update it and this will add it to that menu, but it won't change the phone yet. So see the phone is still in English, but if I go here now and I drag this up to the top, now it will restart as the primary language. So let's try that. So I guess that says restarting phone in Greek. I don't speak Greek. Okay, so now you can see everything is in Greek. Okay, so now what do you do, right? So some stuff actually stays in English, like there's no Greek translation for FaceTime, but most of the things are translated. Um, you can see most of the apps here are translated, except for watch. There's a, definitely a Greek word for watch and podcast and iMovie, GarageBand are left in English. Same thing happens if you change it into Chinese. Some things just don't change. So now let's quickly walk through the steps if you get the phone in the foreign language. So again, you wanna look for that gear menu on the homepage, usually on the first page, and it looks like that. Click on that, and then you wanna go down. And in this case, that says general, I guess, and it's again a gear. And then you wanna go down, and some of this stuff will be in English, airdrop, etc. cetera. But uh, where was it? Oh, now actually the order is different. So click on that. And here we are. So maybe these are like in alphabetical order, I guess so. That's like gamma. Um, so again, look for that kind of atlas thing. That's the best way to find it. And then again, you see the list of languages. So let's set English back up to the top. And I guess I'm agreeing and setting languages. So click on the red one to agree, I suppose. And here we are back in English. So yeah, so I'm gonna actually edit this I'm going to take Greek out and um, continue. So it sort of resets, but doesn't actually change anything. And in case you're wondering what these preferred languages are, um, that's, I guess, like if you're if you're doing translate app or whatever, it'll, it'll come up as like one of the options um, in terms of like if I open a app, it'll, you know, if it doesn't have English, it'll go to the second language and see if that's um, available as a translation uh, that's separate from the keyboards which is actually uh, also in here and that's where you can add the ability to type in other languages so you can add keyboards it's a little bit beyond the scope of this video but yeah that's basically where that is so if you wanted to type something in chinese for example and then i'll pick pinyin qwerty okay so now i have the choice when i'm typing a text message or something to choose between English, Japanese, emoji keyboard, or uh, traditional Chinese. And I think I can adjust the, the like pecking order here. So if I put emoji at the bottom. So yeah, so that's beyond the scope of the language changing, but still useful if you're doing multiple languages. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If there's anything else you'd like to see an introduction to on the iPhone 17 Pro, Pro Max, etc. Uh, do let me know and I can definitely film it. Okay, thank you. Bye. Everyone, welcome back to How Tech. Today I have a deep purple iPhone 14 Pro. Uh, and in today's video, we're going to show you how to insert and remove a physical SIM. So before we start,